Well, it is Thursday evening, about to be Friday, because it's almost one o'clock in the morning. Uh, I did make an appointment with my neurologist. Well, I say assistant, I think mine's on vacation or, well, she's a new mommy too. So they probably gave her some leave. Um, yeah, so far the most I'm having is that I feel swelling from the MS in the back of my neck. I don't know if I'll need steroids because I'm allergic to them. Um, my aunt died last week to the virus. Um, my other aunts in Puerto Rico have it. And just heard that my grandmother is also in the hospital and they do not expect her to live either. So it's pretty hard. I mean, wasn't too close to my grandmother, but with my aunt, yeah, pretty much. We always hung out with the kids, always around. So it's been pretty hard, but you know, dealing with MS, depression, and then <laughs> diabetes. I did get my Dexcom, but I'm finding that the, I'm having really bad reactions to adhesives. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that because I need them. Although I may ask my endo when I see her on the 20, Six, I think it's the 26 to see if we can switch it. Although I think the other one also has adhesive. I'll see. Um, when was the last time you saw my sister? A little bit. Uh, my niece, she's learning to walk. <laughs> she's taking steps here and there, but she's still preferring to crawl. I mean, she just turned one. What can you expect? <laughs> uh, a nephew, he's talking a lot more. But he's having, I would say, anger issues. Or not so much anger issues. More a sibling rivalry because he's always going after his little sister. But I think that'll change as he grows. Um... My dad may be getting a different job or a better job. Same thing, same field as home health aid. But this company has a lot more training, a lot more things. So I think it'll benefit him. Um, just really trying to hang in there, you know, dealing with the loss. I know it's probably really hard for her daughter and her other son because just, uh, I think it's been about two years since uh, her son passed away. So it's pretty hard hitting all over. So I hope everything goes okay. I hope my aunts recover. You know, I hope my grandmother recovers. But time will tell. Because she had cancer. And uh, her kidneys shut down. They actually shut down. So it's one of those things you just gotta wait and hear. I'm dealing with it pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm going to counseling which helps talk about it. No appointment next week, I think. <laughs> I can't keep track of my appointments. I have to put everything on my <laughs> iPad or iPhone. <laughs> Make sure that it gives me a reminder like, hey, you have an appointment today. <laughs> I'm trying. I don't wanna cry. I wanna cry, I wanna cry. <laughs> should be going to sleep but you know I took a nap and naps are not good for me because then I'm up all night and all I do is clean <laughs> which doesn't help because 
you know, I'm still healing from surgery and I'm pushing myself too much and today I started getting pain towards it's not even a surgical site it might be but it it feels like twinges <laughs> but what worries me the most I think is my uh, right leg because it's numb and I don't know if I actually tore something or if it's another MS symptom. I'll find out. And I'll keep you guys informed.